Hi, I'm Andrew Dye, Operations Director for Unity Homes. Today we're in Norwich, Vermont to tour a VARM style home and to speak with the homeowners, Sue and Chris, about their experience building and living in a Unity home. Let's go take a look inside. Hi, Sue, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm Suzanne. And I'm Chris. And we own a Unity home in Norwich, Vermont. We chose the VARM because I really like the modern farmhouse look. At the heart of the VARM is an open kitchen, dining, and living area that optimizes the first floor space. Open floor plans are a hallmark of most Unity designs because they allow smaller homes to feel much larger without actually increasing the square footage. The L-shaped kitchen layout is common in VARMs with a multi-purpose island in the center. In addition to the usual upper cabinets flanking the range, this kitchen features open shelves and a generous pantry closet for storage. The range is electric and operates on the principle of induction. These ranges are very efficient and offer so much control for cooking that many professional chefs now prefer them over gas. Chris and Sue opted for a screen porch on the south side of the house. Having the screen porch readily accessible off the kitchen and dining area means it's easy for the family to enjoy meals out there when the weather is nice. The double glass doors off the dining and living areas help to ensure plenty of southern light for these primary areas. This light is what I love when I'm working over here. Because uh -huh. I work from home remotely. So this is your home this office This is my, my home office. Yeah. Having all this natural light, I really like being in the house when I'm working. The master bedroom is in a wing off of the living room. Unity offers first floor master suites as an option for all VARM style houses. And I really love that we vaulted the ceilings in here. Yeah. I know that was like something we talked about maybe not doing. Uh -huh. You know, there's a version that has a flat ceiling. Yeah, I can't imagine not doing it, yeah. honestly. It looks so nice, and everybody always comments on the wood and the beams. This master suite includes a generous bathroom and a walk-in closet. The stairway along the middle of the long wall is a signature feature of the VARM platform. It's one of those elements in Unity's design system that generally remains fixed. Unity offers several layouts for the second floor configuration of the VARM. Sue and Chris chose to design their second floor configuration around a large multi-purpose space they use for everything from family activities to working out. Very handy when you're spending lots of time at home. The two smaller upstairs bedrooms are the kids' rooms. Both are spacious enough for a bed, dresser, and closet, but also compact enough to allow plenty of space for the adjacent rec room, which was a priority for the family. Chris and Sue opted to put their laundry area on the second floor, but it can also be located on the first floor. I think the word prefab gets a really bad rap. I was able to put my own touches on the house, use different paint colors, so there's nothing about this that says prefab to me. When they worked with Unity to design the house, Chris and Sue were on Unity's personalized design path, meaning that most of the design elements, finishes, and fixtures were standard. But in a few areas they customized beyond Unity's standards, for example, the tiled steam shower in the master bathroom and the light fixture above the dining room table. Well, my favorite thing about the house is the mudroom, and we trash it with mud, with snow, with book bags, with books, jackets, you name it. And this way I have a place to put it and I even have a door that I can shut it and close it all off to. Um, and I think it keeps the rest of the house a lot cleaner too, having that, that entryway. It's super quiet uh, because of how tight it is. It's just a very relaxing place to be. It's so quiet, we put a motion sensor on the driveway because they'd come to deliver a package and I wouldn't know until the second that they rang the doorbell or knocked on the door and it would scare yeah, me. Yeah, the, the doorbell <laughs> would ring and it would scare the daylights out of you. I mean, you have no idea. You can't hear anything. <laughs> Some of the natural constraints of the prefab um, helped us control what the budget was going to be, the overall budget of how much the whole house was going to cost. I think also the length of time, too, was really important to us. We wanted to be in the house and enjoy it as quickly as we could. Right. Yeah, the, the actual time to construct uh, the building is extremely short compared to a traditional um, construction process. Chris really wanted to see the house go up. 
and he got a call from them that they were going to be doing it and he almost missed it because the whole house went up within a week with the roof on it and everything. Right. Instead of a construction crew doing all the framing on site, all of the nails are exactly on center um, because the wall sections are fabricated mostly by automated machines. Because Unity homes are so energy efficient, the systems for heating and cooling them can be relatively small. In fact, most of the mechanical equipment for this house fits in this space behind the stairs. There's a ventilation system here. There's also a heat pump water heater. The heating and cooling for the first floor is provided by an air source heat pump, also known as a mini split system. And there are two wall registers, one here in the main open living area and another wall unit in the master bedroom that are providing the heating and cooling to the entire first floor. The heating and cooling for the second floor is provided by an innovative system known as a conditioning energy recovery ventilator or a CERV. Basically that system, in addition to providing heating and cooling via a system of ductworks to the second floor, is providing continuous filtered fresh air through ducts for the entire house. We haven't been here quite a year, but we have gone through a winter and it's been really cold. I mean, there was nights where it was double digits negative and the house feels very comfortable. We've never had to use the baseboard heat. We have it as a backup if we ever needed to but just the mini split systems that heat the bottom of the house and then the heat pump that brings it upstairs was enough to keep us warm all, all winter. At Unity, we strive to build all of our homes using non-toxic materials that are sustainably sourced. We also build our homes to be all electric, meaning that there's no need to burn fossil fuels. Chris and Sue had an 11 kilowatt photovoltaic array installed on the roof of this house, and they had a Tesla Powerwall battery installed in the garage. These systems power the house, they power the electric vehicle, they help to ensure that electricity is available when the sun isn't shining, and they also provide a level of resilience for when the grid goes down. If the power goes out and the backup Tesla wall battery is engaged, it's seamless. So your phone buzzes and you get a notification from the app that you're now on the backup wall battery, but you don't notice it. The, the lights don't flicker, the TV doesn't change. So there's been several instances where we were sitting and the power went out and we didn't even notice that it happened. The photovoltaic panels, the efficient heating and cooling systems, the low energy appliances, these are all important ingredients for net zero performance. But the building envelope is really critical and that's where Unity shines. We build our homes with thick super insulated walls. We use triple glazed windows. We build with airtight construction, and it's this high-performance shell that is really the cornerstone of net zero performance. Having a finished product that's as sustainable as it can be, um, I think is, is beneficial you know, from an environmental standpoint. Um, and you know, I also think that what makes it sustainable also makes it really high quality from a construction standpoint. So um, you know, this house will be here for 100 years. Um, it's extremely well built. Berkeley and Bellard Greenwood Country is the largest and oldest independent real estate agency in Wyndham County. We are family owned and our company culture is just that. We are a big family. We have fun together and we work well together. Since 1965, we've helped thousands of buyers and sellers turn their real estate dreams into reality. Between our two offices, we have 28 agents. Our agents are a wealth of information and resources the properties we've sold have a huge range from mobile homes and tiny houses, very small lots to hundreds of acres, antique houses and farms to stunning energy efficient contemporaries. Mom and pop storefronts to large commercial buildings. So, let us help you with your real estate projects and needs. Call or email, visit our website, have us work up a market value for your property, or help you find your next home. We are your real estate experts. Hi, if you have an older home and your windows are drafty, in need of repair, or just a little TLC, call Thomas McLaughlin, Window Repair and Weatherization at 802-254-9370. Thank you. The world is changing and we all need to rise to meet the challenges that these changes will bring. 
Sustainability and resilience are two of the most important tools we have in navigating our future. Brattleboro Savings and Loan has been living these values for over a hundred years. As a certified B Corp, we've invested heavily in reducing our carbon footprint and, more importantly, doing the right thing for our communities. Whether you're buying or building a new home, consider putting your money where your values are. Bratbank.com. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Do you have a concrete foundation? Rooter Foundation Repair stops leaks from cracks in the wall and around septic and water lines and stabilizes both concrete and concrete block walls. We can often provide quotes from pictures texted to us at 802-579-9309. Now in our seventh year of service. There's so many things about a building that should be lifted, not just for Unity clients, but really for everyone. In in the Unity proposition, we're simply trying to demonstrate what building should be to better serve people and their families and the planet and future generations in the community, in the neighborhood, in the country. They're all connected.